Cajun shrimp Alfredo. Let's make it happen. Okay, folks, but look, I'm gonna go ahead and just address who it is. You guys already know who he is. Look, shit, he got like a, a million people to follow him already. Getting close. You know what I'm saying? Hey, close enough. Getting close. You know what I mean? Hey, so with that being said, listen, we got a recipe we know you guys are gonna like, so we finna just get right into it. So tell me what you're gonna start off with. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and season the shrimp first. Extra large shrimp, we're gonna season them up with some Cajun seasoning, get them in the skillet, and then we're gonna remove the shrimp and use that same flavor from the skillet to make our Alfredo. So after today, you'll never need to buy jarred Alfredo sauce again. Super easy to make, just a few ingredients. Nobody to better to do it with than you. Hey, you know what, uh, I like that. You know what I mean? I give people the options, you know, to go buy, but when you can make it as easy as what we finna do right now, why not do it this way? Absolutely. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and do that. And look, I'm gonna put a little twist on this, you know, right here. I'm gonna put a little bit of my original, you know, my little AP on here. As you should. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. That's good stuff. Yes, sir. Then we'll go ahead and season with the rest. All right, so AB's already added the AP. I'm gonna hit it with a little Cajun. Not too much, save the rest to go into your Alfredo sauce. Hey, but you know what? For me to add just, and you know, be myself, you there know, you go. I always gotta add the crack, you know, black Freshly pepper. Cracked. Oh, yes, sir. And you know what? It's a difference. A lot of people don't know this, but the Big freshly cr uh, crack, it got like a little stronger taste mm -hmm. to it. You know what I mean? So once your skill is nice and hot, probably like medium heat or so, you don't want it to be too hot because shrimp get cooked super fast. We're gonna go ahead and add them in there. Give them a little elbow room so they get some good color and cook evenly. All right, so once the shrimp is just about cooked, we're gonna go ahead and remove it with the slotted spoon, leaving all that flavor behind for our Alfredo sauce. Yeah. Shrimp is looking and smelling good. Hey, look, and I gotta address this part too. For all of the new people that are here that heard that you can't use metal utensils inside of, you know, non-stick type pans and pots, you can with hex clad. Listen, that's one of the things that I like about it, not to mention that it holds so much, you know, heat, almost just like a uh, cast iron. Real even. Yeah. You know what I mean? Real even. But you see this right here? You don't have to worry about that flaking off or nothing like that. And as you would say, that's that fine, baby. A lot of flavor down there. So what we're yes, gonna sir. do now is we're gonna kill the heat because we're gonna add some butter. I don't want the butter to scorch. Right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and load up my little smile gun. You know, yes, this right sir. here make, puts that smile on my face, man. Quick reminder also, all the specific measurements and ingredients are gonna be listed below as you guys always do. So if you guys wanna make this at home, quick and easy, you have it on a dinner table in less than 30 minutes, really can't go wrong. So we're basically gonna take this butter and allow that to kind of like start picking up some of that flavor off the bottom of the skillet. Okay, now that we got that melted, I'm gonna go ahead and put that smile on my face. Man, I ain't used to nobody working my spatula. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. There you go. Awesome garlic. So we got the garlic in there with the melted butter. We're gonna let that saute for a minute or so. You don't want the garlic to burn. You just want it to kind of, like he said, get fragrant. Start to saute a bit, and then we're gonna go in with our heavy cream. Let that simmer and reduce. Parmesan cheese, season it to taste. You got Alfredo sauce, simple as that. All right, heavy cream. We'll put this on medium heat, bring that to a simmer. Let all those flavors come together and marry. All right, so what you wanna do is just bring it to a simmer for a few minutes. It's gonna allow it to start to reduce, which is gonna thicken up the sauce. The other thing that's gonna thicken up the sauce is this grated Parmesan cheese. Right, right, right. So I'm gonna do it like this, man, because I like to just get it in here. I don't know, I don't want it to like fall in the clump. But you know what, when the chefs are here, a lot of people tell me, man, just put it in there, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. But this is the way I've been taught to do it, you know what I mean, just a little bit at a time, let you work that in there, and then I'll add the rest. I also like to do it over low heat or kill the heat completely, because if it's too hot, sometimes the fat will separate and your, your sauce will get all oily. Hey, you know what, man, it, that explained a lot right there. Yeah. <laughs> Th that right there. It's like explained. all the people in the comments, how do you get your Alfredo sauce not to be oily? Make sure you add the cheese towards the end, like we just did, and kill the heat, let the residual heat in the pan melt the cheese. All right, so we're gonna save a little bit of that pasta water that we just drained, add that to our sauce, and then ultimately finish cooking the noodles and the sauce as well. And another thing too, look, just to explain like a little bit more in detail, look, the pasta water be cool, uh, key. Listen, it makes it, you know, like super creamy, and it also helps that the creaminess of the Alfredo sauce sticks to your noodles. That right there, if you guys wanna know why sometimes it just coats and kinda of like just slides off, that's cause it doesn't have none of that pasta water. Yeah. Or should I say starchy water. Right, so you see me right here with a, uh, with a my, this is my little tester spoon. You can see how small it is. I love this set right here. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it. And then you guys can see the consistency. That right there is what we are looking for. Now we taste it. 
Hey, man, that's fire, bro. Yes, sir. Hey, you can use just a little bit of seasoning. Let's do it. So he's going to add a little bit more seasoning. What you want to do at the end, like I said, Alfredo, um, the, the Parmesan cheese and the Alfredo sauce is pretty salty. So always add your seasoning towards the end like we just did. And then a little touch of lemon juice doesn't hurt. It's a pretty fatty dish. We got a lot of butter, a lot of heavy cream. So the acid and the lemon juice kind of cuts through that, brightens everything up a little bit. Why well, I'm over here looking like I'm brand new and watching you stir that right now. Look, I'm over here licking my lips and all of that. That right here, that came out right. Love it's the consistency. like lunchtime. Right, right, right. Now, you guys saw like in the very, very beginning, like how we did our uh, noodles, we did our pasta noodles, we do them al dente, right? So listen, read your package, you know, whatever is suggested you do, 10, 12, eight, whatever that is, that's what you wanna do, right? So now, got this here. Oh yeah, this is right. Mm -hmm. Hey, so look, the only thing we got left to do is, now I'm gonna use this slotted spoon because we got a little bit of that ooey in there. I know what you're gonna tell me to go ahead and put no that. No flavor left behind. <laughs> no flavor left behind, I got it. So I want you guys to pay attention to one thing. If you take a look at right here, look, this is not all of the shrimp that we made. But listen, it's about that presentation, right? So what we're doing is we're just putting some of this in now. You're gonna reserve some back because that's why we're gonna top the dish and make it look beautiful. Okay, folks, look, ain't no need me doing all of that. You know what I mean? Uh, this is fire. I'm going to go ahead and take a taste test while you guys uh, get a chance to watch me. I'm going to go ahead and let you just wrap this up right here. No problem. This is a great Alfredo recipe, but we also have another great Alfredo recipe right here in the Best of Both Worlds cookbook. These are still in stock and ready for you. Use the promo code down below for 20% off plus free shipping. got to share, though. There we go. Moment of truth. Big bite. There we go. One of the things I like, especially when you're dealing with shrimp, is when the shrimp is cooked just right. You know what I mean? Not overcooked, it's not chewy. Mm. That's money. Hey, so he just told you about the cookbook. This right here is fire. Let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Hey, better yet. After you do that, talk to us and tell us how you guys like seeing me and him together. Hey, this is my guy right here. And with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, check this out. You know what I'm about to say. You know what? We out. Peace.